What is up everyone, my name's Al from GamesRib, and that's right, we've got a brand new, well actually no, it's not a brand new, another, let's say, Half-Life Doom mod on the Sega Dreamcast, this time called Half-Life Revenge. Great original name, right? That's right, so it'll be interesting to see how this one's actually changed, is it any different? Is it pretty much more of the same? Let's find out. So yes, if you'll remember, I did already cover Half-Life Doom on the Sega Dreamcast, but this time we're playing Half-Life Doom Revenge, or Doom Half-Life Revenge, whatever you want to call it. A, I guess it's a different scenario, it's different scenery, albeit the game is very, very similar. So yes, I can't really tell when the events of this game actually take place, there's really nothing to actually tell you what is even happening, although you're clearly in a Black Mesa kind of environment. That's, yeah, there really is no really telling any difference between this one and the first one, although the first one clearly followed the mechanics and the actual storyline of the first Half-Life. Whereas this, it's kind of just, it feels like a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of an experiment to just kind of show off a bit more Half-Life in Doom? That's kind of how it feels anyway. Now yes, you have got obviously got your trusty little uh, pistol there, that almost sounds like... It actually sounds like the shotgun, but then when you actually get the shotgun, that also sounds like the shotgun. So, hey, I can't really tell here what they've done with the sound effects, because it just doesn't feel like it matches the actual weaponry if that makes sense. But anyway, like I said, environmentally, this looks actually pretty good. It feels very, very faithful to the Half-Life universe, don't get me wrong, but it just feels like a bit of an empty shell of a Doom mod, if that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate what's been done here, but like I said, it feels very... just, could it have been done? When already we've got a Half-Life Doom mod? I don't think this really had to come out. I've got to be honest, though, this is rock hard. This is actually a lot harder than the first one. It really feels like they've racked up the difficulty. Now, the only thing I will, you know, kind of say about this is there's a bit of screen tearing. Now, see, this is an older Doom mods collection that this is part of. So don't get me wrong. This is nothing that, you know, any of the newer releases of Doom have have kind of added to, if that makes sense, the more optimised versions, that's that's not this. This has been around for a few years now, using an older Doom kind of base. So, you know, give it its due. Yes, it's not going to be 100%. Yes, it actually runs pretty quickly. But yes, obviously, also, there is some screen tearing. Now, are you going to want to play this? I think you probably will. If you're a Half-Life fan, you're probably going to like this. I mean, anyone else? Maybe not. Give it a miss. There are some better Doom mods out there. It's unfortunate because, like I said, the first one felt so faithful to the original game. Why didn't we get kind of like Half-Life Opposing Forces Doom mod? Maybe? I don't know. I, like I said, I can't really judge because at the end of the day, I wouldn't have a clue how to make a mod. <laughs> So, you know, give it its due, it is actually pretty decent, but it just would have been nice to have seen a different storyline. Now, obviously, you have got the standard collect keys go through doors. That's all present as any Doom mod will be, because it's using the same mechanics as Doom. It is Doom, essentially. But yet, apart from that, you know, it would have been also been nice to have a bit of an addition of the actual Half-Life music. It's still using the Doom 1 music, so that in itself... I don't know, it seems like something that could have been done. As a bit of a consolation, it actually controls really, really well. It's nice and rapid, really. It's a rapid response, and it, it works really well on the Sega Dreamcast controller. You know, it actually feels like it's made for this, because at the end of the day, Doom wasn't designed to be used on analog sticks, aka more than one of them. So here, it feels nice. It actually works really, really well. So really, this isn't a bad mod. I mean, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, if we can get more Half-Life into our lives, I think we're on to a winner. Because at the end of the day, we're not seeing Doom mods of this kind of calibre come along all that often. Don't get me wrong, there's some real decent ones like, you know, even Batman, Resident Evil. These are all decent Doom mods. But hey, Half-Life is one that we've loved, you know, for years and years now. So it is great to see some Doom mods 
of Half-Life. I just, like I said, I just wish they had picked a kind of, you know, something like Opposing Forces or, you know, anything like that, even Blue Shift, and kind of put it into the Doom universe. That would have been nice to see. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this. It's a really, really hard Doom mod, but you probably get the picture. It's another Half-Life Doom mod, and it is actually really, really good. Yes, it kind of expands the universe a little bit, Yes, it's just a love letter to the original games, but hey, it's a nice bit of fun. Anyway, I hope you've liked this nice little look at Half-Life Revenge, the Doom mod. <laughs> Couldn't get out then. For the Sega Dreamcast, like, comment and subscribe. It's Al Sony out.